Hey love bugs, it's Riles and Mega Chew one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs. My grown, extended, beautiful family as always. Thank you so much for the love and support. It's truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and sending so much love and light upliftment and protection towards your way anybody who's coming in with low level frequency and got little vindictive vibes that you're trying to do to distract destroy or keep me away from is coming right back to you 10 times follow us that with mine is going to be uplift blessings and healing and love and light so the videos i'm about to do today is called twin flame 101 Hey, hey, Okas, when you recognize your power to the core, it makes you vicious when you decide to walk in it. Yes, when you, you know, a lot of times it's hard when we go through day to day on different things. Or, you know, like I was saying in other videos, it's like right now, it, it's like that subject they keep guiding me to talk about is within, 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 within. You know, you've gone through a lot into your life and a lot of times we go through a lot of challenges a lot of you know uh, controversy within ourselves you know uncomfortable situations that we have to allow ourselves you know because there's a lot of times when you're healing there's so many different things where you look back and there's sometimes you can be embarrassed that you did these things you know like oh my god I was so horrible to that person or oh my god I was so horrible to myself or oh my god they were more horrible towards me and it's just like everything took a lesson as long as you're living and learning from these lessons that has taken place in your life yes it, it can be you know certain things you're not proud of but it's like don't shame yourself if you know you're not in that vibration no more you're not moving through that vibration no more don't be shameful towards yourself if you get a chance to you know break bread with somebody that you really you know you really hurt you got that chance to be able to do that even if that person is not forgiving of you you're clearing your slate saying you know i know what i did to you was very messed up you know, um, and I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me. You know, either that person is or they're not. But as long as you allowing yourself to forgive yourself, you know, the first thing we have to do is forgive ourselves. You know, there are so many different things that we, we still hold on to that was only supposed to show you the truth of an individual when it came to your life on how people can really be, you know, learning lessons from, you know, poor decisions that we make or hasty decisions. Sometimes we make decisions very fast because certain situations we don't like what we're in or it feels very uncomfortable. So we jump into things and we later regret it is worse off than what we were in the situation prior to that. And you have to be able to learn from those things. You know, there'll be certain things that'll come up like I can watch a movie or I can watch something on YouTube and it'll bring up something you know and it'll make me go back to that and it was just like I had to really force myself to say let that go you know because it'll be different times that you know certain things is happening it could be people that I never you know did anything to and they went out their way to really hurt me and it was just like I had to allow myself to let that go they were just showing you who they truly are within the surface or they're not used to people being genuine towards them when you send something real and you don't know you were that person that was bringing in a blessing for them. They even forfeited on themselves. You know, it is what it is. But allow yourself to grow from that and let go. You know that, that you need to let go of that. You know, don't allow that situation to hold you hostage from something that, that can create better. Making you have better judgment on different things. Allowing yourself to make peace that surpass all understanding. You know, and I had to be able to do that. And being able to do, and it was not easy, you know, because there was a lot of things like, dang, you know, universe was like, you know, sometimes it, it could be, I, I could be in my own vibe and all, all of a sudden the, the universe will reveal something towards me. This is what really happened. This is why we allow these people to part ways with you. This is what was going on. Because sometimes they feel like if it's towards your nature, you really needed to know. Because sometimes you have to be able to understand universe seeing some stuff I didn't know. There was different things that was making moves behind my back that I wasn't aware of. Or there was different things that that person was leading down something that could have really put me in a, a very messed up situation. You know, and there'll be certain times universe will reveal stuff to you, especially when you clearing out a lot. You know, a lot of gift switches are coming up right now. And it'll be, you know, and it, I mean, this is like something that you probably didn't even, wasn't even aware you had that you, you come up on now because everything like I was saying in the last other videos things are really sensitive for everybody right now and it's just like 
there'll be certain things I can touch base on when it comes to videos it's like okay you can do videos but you can't you know you can't interact with people in the comments like no you don't no the <laughs> universe is telling you no not not right now you either understand or you don't either they understand or you don't you know but as long as you tell them hey you'll eventually get to it you know the universe wanted you to do this you know if they really committed towards you or really committed towards what you're doing towards your cause they'll really understand that not take it personal if not you know I, hey, I'm sorry but I'll get to it eventually you know um but we're going through those different things where you really step in your power and you want to walk into that that makes you vicious because there's a lot of people that are walking around comfortable in their lie or comfortable in a delusion or comfortable in, in something else that's not keeping it real with themselves you know and you have to be oh okay but when you recognize it it's like oh, okay you know you you, you just say okay it is what it is you know i used to get mad about stuff like that like you don't take it not get mad but take it personal you you allowing yourself to you know deal deal with something like that just you know they being fake <laughs> you know it's like okay they being fake but i seen some people are like oh yeah they doing fake and you wouldn't have nothing to say about it it's like no why why you ain't why you ain't calling because of what they know they being fake Eventually, you know, when people recognize, real recognize, real when fake come in the room, real G's move in silence, you understand what they're doing. You know, if they don't understand what you're doing, as long as you understand what you're doing, that's okay. You don't let the left hand know the right hand doing. I always tell people, hey, don't be projecting what you, you, you on your way of doing. I had to learn that the hard way. Don't project what you're about to do and they'll understand. You wonder why it didn't mess, it, it didn't come through. You lost interest in it or it just, it, it just messed up before you even approached that mess. Because there are so many daggone envious situations where people really hunger. You, they, they really want you to, it was a post I put out the other day. They want you to lay it out like, how do you do it? We trying to understand. We're we're not mesmerized of how you're growing. We trying to mesmerize how the heck did you get through them things we done placed on you. You know we I put so much struggle and heartache in your life, and yet you still keep coming times ten times stronger. I'm trying to understand why my words that's placed on your on your life is not working. You know, and those are the different things. There's so many different times they're trying to understand how you able to still keep moving, how you able to still have courage to keep on going. How do you have love even when we don't put so much hatred on you? How are you able to project love out the way you do? And this is like when something's in you, that's really in you that is growing in that you know, it can it, it can be something negative and it can grow out and it can mess and can spear out and you can tell when stuff like that spearing out and towards other people. I don't know what it is that happens is like when you really go through some hardship and it's a lot of people i'm not saying you know it can happen it cannot happen but i know for for a lot of people i know when we gone through some hardship and we're really facing that it's like it it, it, it finds the fountain of youth like it age it, it don't age you it, it sends it back like you know a lot of times you'll hear people say thank god i do not look like what i went through you know, I'm like, hey, I may be a little fluffy right now, but hey, I'm okay with that fluffiness. It didn't make me not love myself anymore. It may be a little bit uncomfortable for me, but I'm okay. You know, I'm going to be like that. It, it be like that sometimes. You know, it be sometimes I was like, shoot, I was like a walking toothpick. You know, when I first started this mess, now I gained a couple. You know, and it will be okay. But I had to be able to allow myself to love myself for who I am in every moment of my life, every aspect of my life. It ain't going to always be like that. As long as I work hard at doing what I'm doing and I love myself while I'm doing it, that's all that really truly matters. I'm walking in my power. I'm walking in my faith. This is all I need to do. I'm a God-fearing person. Not no enemy-fearing person. Not no man-fearing person, but a God-feeling person. And you going through all that mess. And that makes you vicious. When you're allowing yourself, okay, you want to be, you want to be just being, okay, I respect that. I'm going about it. You know, we can't be at that point where we judging people. You know, we're not judging people because it'd be different times. You know, it'd be, you know, it'd be having somebody to really at you. And I'm like, man, I can really hurt you with my words as well as my fist and anything else I want to come in and be connected. But I'm going to just pray for you. I'm going to just allow God to deal with you. Because he can do far more than me. And I, I ain't got to worry about that because I said the orange is not the new black, white, or blue for me. So I'm going to allow God to go ahead and, and invest in your mess because I can't. I got to invest in my truth. I got to rest. You know, I got to, you know, I said rest in <laughs> the devil. I got got to invest in, in whatever I got that I'm trying to manifest in. That's what I meant to say. 
you're growing in so many beautiful ways. You know, you're really knowing yourself and so much is what's unfolding. You're trusting that, even though that, a lot of times that can be very scary. But when you're allowing yourself to, you know, stand strong in your affirmations, you're believing that, you know, this is not my final destination. It's like when God knows the glory and all the understanding is about to place into my life, he's unfolding things because I'm working hard. There'll be different days that I really got to face some things that's very uncomfortable for me. It make me just want to get angry. It makes me want to fight. It makes me want to do this. And it's just allowing myself, like I was saying in other videos, you're going through something where you got to allow yourself. Don't sit up here and suppress. That's what our issue is. A lot of times when that mess starts feeling uncomfortable, we start suppressing stuff. And you wonder why you're walking around a whole hot mess at times. You have to be able to get to yourself. Because a lot of times we feel like we got to be in a mix of something all the time. Because that keeps us distracted. That's the reason why we had the pandemic in the first place. That's the reason why we had quarantine. Because there's a lot of people that are not investing in their children. A lot of people not investing in their families, their marriages and stuff like that. Because they feel like if we go to work and keep us away from all this mess, I'm getting in with Susie and I'm getting into it with Paul I can't deal with all that but now it's just like now you have no choice to because now they have Zoom <laughs> you know they got they, they got duo you know all this just different stuff now you're going to have to stay up here and be at home and be out here with these kids that you got that you know procreated and they about to get on your last nerve and that's why I was like oh I'm so glad all my kids grown <laughs> because it's just like the people like girl I'm about to go crazy because they need to go ahead and get back in school I'm like why didn't they have quarantine when I was in school you know, I would have been loving that to be going home and just be right in front of a computer and being raising my hand. Can I talk now, Miss Doublefield? You know, be something like that. And just going through different stuff. And it's just like we had to be able to go through that because we ignored so many different things. This is at that time. Is this somebody you feel like you can be in the rest of your life with? Is this somebody you really feel like, you know, I have to be best to be in by myself because we got married on some fraudulent stuff. I can't stand you. I'm ready for you. Don't you blink. You blinking too loud. That's too much distraction for me. Stop breathing. I'm tired of you. <laughs> You know, you got a phobia where, you know, I'm, I'm tired of you doing that. It's like, man, I, this is how I live. Can you not? And just say you do. You know, be somebody that's, you know, dealing with stuff like that. And you're going through these different things where you had to understand, is this a person that you really see you, you growing old with? This is somebody you really feel like you can trust. This is something you can really grow into that. And we had to be able to do that through the trauma that we were going through. There'll be different things that I went through. And, you know, it was just like, no, you, you, this is about to give me time. <laughs> if you don't take this person out of my life, you're about to give me time. And now it's just like, you know, I'm glad I went through that. I'm really glad that I've gone through that. I had to really go through things where I had to be, you know, okay with people trying to trigger me. Because this let me know aware of what those triggers are so I can heal that. So that can no longer be a trigger. I appreciated them for that because it showed me. What I needed to do and work within myself, it pre appreciated what it showed me in my surroundings or what bothered me about what people kept throwing towards me or what I needed to work on. So when they did that and it didn't bother me, that lets me know, it already let me know what their issue is, but it already let me know on a deeper value within me what I needed to work on within myself. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be ace boom coons with my power and I can't let something second guess that for me to be rocky with my own power i got to be steady with that i got to be solid with that and this is what we're doing we, you know we had to unlearn and which is not an easy thing to do unlearn because a lot of times we will place we be in that victim mentality this person this person this person a lot of times we we giving people permission to rock our boats like that we can we, we can say hey we can put you on a life raft and keep on going or you know that little blow up thing you can go ahead and go on that because I'm the captain of the ship, and I see every time I keep on trying to be nice and put you in here, you trying to drill a hole into it. And I gotta get to, I gotta get to land because if not, Jaws and and Megalodon and them daggone whatever else is in here, you know, Leviathan or whatever else would want to come up to the shore, want to keep messing up, and I'm trying to get to the shore. You know, you you can do what you want to do on this bubble raft while I'm up in here with mine because I can't have people in my in my boat kind of drill holes because you want to play captain to, to my ship. You know, and you're being able to do that because a lot of times it gets on your nerves when people trying to do things. They're always trying to make you mad or trying to do things just to get you unraveled or come unhinged. And you have to be able to stop, pause. Who is this? Who is this person? Are you in war with this person or is this person in war with them and trying to bring you into that war? Just because you're a warrior don't mean you a bat. This is your battle. Sometimes that, that ain't your battle. 
That's not your battle. These people are world themselves. They, some people be asking you to pray for you. Um, they want you. Some people want to. Well, I'm going to pray for you. I ain't about to accept that prayer. Because I know that prayer is trying to be damnation to my, myself. And they'll say, yeah, I said damnation. Because it's trying to demolish you. You know. And it's trying to damn you to whatever they're trying to get you to. So that's demolition. You know. So it's trying to always do that. Because it be some, mm-hmm, thank you. And you like, I'm going to block that prayer all the way. You know, somebody trying to do that because they see something in you that they do not want to go any further. You know, you have to be able to do that. But it's just like those times you have to understand when people try to control your life is because they don't have. We, nobody has control over their life. You only have control over how you move forward, how you see the different situations you're placed in. Are you going to allow something that's out, clearly out of your control mess up? The, the beginning of your day or mess up your day is just like, ugh, let me just breathe through this real quick. Let me just do a Omnion Reggae or Wusa, whatever I need to do, go burn an incense. You know, some people go burn a joint, whatever, burn a tree, whatever you want to call it. Going about your business and, and you know, keep it moving. It's like, well, if it's out of my hands, it got to be out of my head. I just, I ain't got no control over that. You know, and a lot of times people come unhinged when they see you healing. That becomes a trigger for them. You're triggering somebody by healing and that messes people up I, I see it all the time but you have to be able to pray for people like that because some people feel like they don't have what it takes to heal and I really feel like even narcissists if you really allowing yourself to do it keep it real but a lot of times people when they get so comfortable in that lie that's all they believe is that lie that lie becomes their truth even if you on sitting on the outside and it's like yeah I know that truth but I'm going to let that truth eventually come catch up to them. I'm tired of convincing them what that truth is. They know what it is. But if they want to live that life, you got to be able to, you know, you're like, I need you to pray for me. No, those are the ones. You, you, some people you just can't even pray for. You're going to have to go through that situation just like I did. And then you're going to understand why you, you had to go through that and why you had to decide to change. Because that you don't change. That change can kill you. <laughs> you you have to be able to understand that. And it, it's just like so many different things. You are that example. Everybody is, is like they play a part heavy in, into your book or your story or your movie of change within your life, you know, and you have to be able to understand even the worst of the worst is coming up in there to do some kind of congruent stuff, whatever, you know, they, they were supposed to be that that is supposed to be the villain. You know, a lot of times you go for the superhero, but you can understand the villain at the same time. You know, you're going through those different things. And this is like, I appreciate my enemies. I appreciate my spiritual blockers. I appreciate the people that try to sit up here and trigger me. You know, I send much love to them. I know there's plenty of people that watch my videos and don't like me. And they're trying to find some kind of way to destroy me. I'm still sending love towards your way. I'm not going to be into that vibration of talking on your level. You're going to have to meet me at mine or you're just not going to meet me at all. You won't be on that level. There'll be a lot of time. I'm not stopping myself. I'm not playing small. I might meet you if they, this is below me, and I'm not talking about looking below people, but people at that low level frequency. I'm not talking on that. I, I left that alone, way back there, way back yonder, as they say. I'm up at that higher vibration of where it, it, if it's growing me, nurturing me, making me sing a, a happy tune, it makes my heart flutter. You know, it made me want to, you know, there ain't no flitter, no flitter. You know, it'd be one of those type of vibrations. I want to be able to do that. But if you're on that triggering mess or you're trying to bring drama towards my way or you got drama, you trying to connect me with that drama. I, I, hey, you got that. <laughs> you know, I say that that is too much of a headache, and I ain't got no aspirin. I ain't got no time. No, I'm good. You know, that there would be something I ain't even trying to deal with right there. But you're in that power, and when you're stepping into your power, that makes you vicious because you're not anything that is not speaking positivity into your life. You are just gonna be. That's gonna be obsolete. I, mm, 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 that I'm not even going. I don't even know if the word obsolete. I'm supposed to be using that right now, but that's just be something that I'm just not going to invest in. I'm just that is just not my mess that I want to deal with. I'm dealing with something that's going to grow me. There's going to be. I want to be around people that that is trying to, when they're manifesting. They ain't got no problem with me manifesting with them. They're not seeing me as competition. It's just like they being able to see we can all be happy. We can all be stars. We can all be able to achieve. What can we work together on instead of working against? Let me see what we can add towards instead of me trying to focus on what you're doing so I can block it or let me start feeling a low level so I start comparing my life to yours or let me sit up here and see where I can try to convince you you can't do so it give me power to make me think I can do 
No, I want to be able to be around something that is, you know, it is challenging to challenge myself, but it's, it is all in a in, in a promising way. You know, you want to be around people to see that there's all stars and don't need to be in there. They can be in the sky instead of just me. I want to see you happy, too. But when you're doing the work, not being happy by trying to block something from somebody or trying to steal something, but happy because you're doing the work and being able to tell that person, I'm proud of you. It took you a long way. I remember when you first started, boy, we were a hot mess together, boy. But you know what? We 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 like two peas from a pod. We we fall back like ice. We just cool as I don't know what, like ice trays in a freezer. You know, and I see what you're doing. And I respect that wholeheartedly. You know, and be that type of person. Because you see there's people out here that want to, mm-hmm, and got a little fake vibe. I mean, you can even feel it make you have a rash. Like, man, I need Benadryl messing around with you. I'm good. Uh-uh, I'll pray for you. No, let me, I'm going to allow God to enlighten you. Let me, I'm going to go ahead and step away and enlighten you. And when he get finished, I'm going to still pray for you because you're going to need it. You know, and be in those situations. So allow yourself to be vicious in your own vibe. Stepping into your power and really walking in it and really being that high representation to that. But there ain't no nowhere further you can be except keep on going up, keep moving up. Challenging yourself, challenge your challenge. Don't allow resistance to be your recovery. Whatever. You know, you you allowing yourself to keep going. You overturning so many different things that it became like a milestone for you, where you felt like you could not, you you could not conquer. These are those different things. Ain't nothing can stop me except God. I may need to rest, but I'm gonna rest and I'm gonna get right back on. And I'm gonna go hard. Or I'm gonna, if I can't find a direction, I'm gonna let God lead me. Or He gonna try, you know, because it'll be those times. This is free will, where He's you know He's giving you that thing, but there'll be a lot of times He's gonna be quiet. You know, just to see how you're going to go about it. Because it's like he wants you to lean on him. But he don't want to lean on him. He don't want you leaning on him all the time to where you feel like you can't think for yourself. Because he, he, you don't been through enough to know what not to do and what to do. And if it will be just different things right now where, you know, if, if you're not certain about which way to go, it would be somebody trying to reconnect with you and just like, God, is, is this for me? You know, because sometimes you feel like you don't block somebody out your life or you no longer talk to a person in your life and they come back or you know, whatever. And it's just like, should I bring that person in your life? And he, he don't allow, go ahead. Is this person, mm mm. No, this is a distraction. God, the devil sent them. I ain't sent them. Or, you know, it, it'll be, they, they don't, they've been watching you for a while. So now they're trying to get in to see where they can block you at. And it'll be different things like that. It'll be some people that are coming in because we don't all went on our, on our direction. And that may be, you know, with my situation, you know, there'll be different people that's coming back. And we, you know, we just went our own direction. It wasn't something that we just stopped talking on or whatever. You know, I try not to allow myself to hold grudges with people because we all make mistakes. You know, even with my enemies, I see we all make mistakes. And some people, they just make a habit out of keep making mistakes. And I have to be okay with that too. But allowing myself not to be invested in that. Like, hey, I'm, I'm keep doing mine unscripted. You know, raw with it. I'm just keep going. But I see what you're doing. But I'm allowing myself not to be distracted on what you're doing. I'm gonna keep moving forward and just be allowing myself to be aware with that, but not connecting with it and keep on doing me. Because when I keep doing me and I keep moving right like that, it's always gonna come out right for me. Just keep having faith with that. But when you're allowing yourself to do that, be unapologetic. Okay, you know your 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 tables ain't just turning for you. They flipping over. And this is at a time when you when you moving through your power. You know, you, you the things that weren't worth your power before is going to become powerless. And that's going to be your power source. So you keep moving, okay? So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. You know, I leave all my contact information in the description box below. It's all about spiritual networking. Maybe you may be going through things. You know, a lot of times where we're, all the stuff we're facing, it may sound crazy to people that are closed-minded. They can't think outside of the box. And so we feel like we're being judged or people will be like, hey, you are 5150. We need to invest in you and go into the site war. Or, you know, we need to put you in the basement on a lock and key. You know, I always tell people, hey, come talk to me. I don't judge anybody. Only God can do that. The only thing I don't deal with with people that touch little kids, harming animals, and, and hurting uh, senior citizens. I don't be playing with that. I don't judge you, but I can't deal with you. you know, that's some kind of energy I'm not going to invest in. But, you know, I try my best to be able to help out people. You know, a lot of times y'all tell me about situations. You want my insight on it. 
or are you just trying to find a deeper understanding of your purpose and whatever it is you know I try my best to be able to help out whatever we speak on is confidential you know we go from there you know on my my um my channel I have a community section where it keeps like different uh posts that I bring out whether it's funny or different things that we're going through all these ch huge changes and you know you may be going through some things you may not understand so I always try to make sure I put those out to let you know hey this is what's going on you know there's a lot of ascension that we're going through psychic flus spiritual flus so it can be feeling like you're going through some really really bad changes where a hot cold situation uh headaches you know uh uh what is that what else is it solar plexus is acting up maybe it's hard for you to digest or sometimes you can't even stay out of the bathroom you're going through a lot of different things and some some of the things is putting you in a lot of different fields so you may be going through uh, heavy crying aggravation you know irritability different things like this but there's that time where if god is the universe is trying to guide you towards solitude please invest in that you know rest and rejuvenation don't overdo yourself you know, this is that time where you got to pour more into your cup. If you're there for all other people now, it's time to be more there for yourself. You know, you got to recharge. You got to recalibrate. You you know, you re rewiring. So that's a lot of things that you're doing right now that, you know, it may be bothersome, but this is something that's really needing you for you right now. So you got to be able to, you know, pull back a little bit. So, you know, all those different things. And if you feel generous enough to drop a donation, please, you know, Cash App is there. And as well as I got my... um with my podcast there as well so you know much love to you you know even through social distancing make sure you give out love like positivity words wide frequencies you never know all those things can really take somebody a long way and just because you're doing it just because you know how it feels to you know not have that in your life is going to take you even further you know whatever you're needing into your manis you know you're trying to bring into fruition i'm sending you all those beautiful vibes your way 20 million times full you know if you need persistent consistence you know uh, uh dedication uh what else motivation all those different things just to keep you going because i know when you're trying to manifest in something in your life and it's going to be huge you know it's not going to come by easy there's going to be many distractions there's going to be many people trying to block you from those things many different things you may feel like you don't have what it takes so i'm sending all those vibes towards your way you have you have what you need you are what you need you are ma you matter you got what it takes you have a purpose here and you're definitely needed so i don't want you to ever feel like you don't because you know devil and your enemies will make you feel like you ain't got what it takes and your dreams are too big it's never too big you you have what it takes plus tw 10 million times plus more because they'll try to convince you today that you ain't got what it takes just because they know blessing of five doors, two shades, and a doormat. And probably, you know, a basement about to come open for you. You keep on going. So, you know, I hope uh, throughout the week, you know, please, you know, be please be responsible and safe for everything you do. I'm sending so much abundance, prosperity uh, that, that you're having coming towards this week. And many blessings are opening up for you. So you keep working hard. And, you know, much love to you. Namaste. Shalom. I say God bless. Peace.